Okay, so after a bit of fiddling, you'll see that this is nearly on the F mark. And you see me light down below me there. And when I turn it to the F mark, it goes out. It, it is slightly, slightly off there. You can see. Um, so it may need to come forward just a little bit. I'll try and... Yeah, but that's maybe too far. Um, that's not exactly working for me. See, you need to have this kind of half snugged in too. So that it makes contact with the plate. So there it's gone off, you see. There it's back on. So... There you go. It's open on the F. Open on the F and just comes on after the F. So we know that that's pretty much where we want to be. You do need to perfect it a bit though. I'm snugging these in now and it might change the whole thing. Like you do have to check it. See that's way off now. I'm going, I'm going like well past there before the light comes on. So after you snug it in, sometimes it can mess with it. You have to loosen it up again a little bit and try and just. You see that? See the difference there? Uh, open, closed. Open, closed. Open. Now, if I turn the screwdriver in and tighten up this, sometimes it can just make a mess, of you and you have to you have to get it a bit tighter and get it at the top with a hammer or something to get it into the right spot where you want it. It's just a little bit off there still. Probably, I mean that's it off there, so that means the points are open at that point. You could just use a little bit forward, a tiny bit. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drop. I might need to drop the phone. I might just hold it in my hand here and hit it a wee tap. You know. Right. Done. And let's see where we're going now. I can't even see myself. <laughs> Mm, still could use a wee tap there, I think. Another wee tap. You really have to get this as precise as possible. So. Yeah. Well, that's not helping me much. I'm a right bit past now. Maybe it needs to go back the way, <laughs> not forwards. Um, excuse the bad phone work. I'm working with three hands here again. Three hand demo. And um, I wish there was somewhere I could set you that you should see what I'm doing. Oops, I nearly dropped my phone. Uh, I'll just have to drop you for a minute. Hope you don't mind. Now we got it. So you'll see me lights on there. I'm on the F mark, and as soon as I go there, it's off. As soon as I go there, it's off. So that's the way you want to have it. That's the way you need it. But when I snug these screws in, it could change everything again. So it could. So, so you gotta be careful when you're snugging your stuff, screws in, and that changes everything sometimes. Yeah. It's changed it again, way off. Oh, just give me a minute. You know what it, what way it needs to be, so let me set it away here. Okay, so timing set. Should be enough petrol in the carburetor for it to run if um, if it's going to. I'm just going to put my spark plug in here, and then you can witness together with me what's going to happen. So. If, if this doesn't fix the problem, I'm stumped. I just don't know what it is. And 
I'll have to go looking for some professional advice with it. So I did have a friend who works on bikes who thought it might be the time and he said to leave it over with him. But if I can sort it tonight, I hope I won't have to do that. So let's give it a go guys. Well, it doesn't look promising. That is not promising at all. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, well, it might help if I actually had the um, spark wired up. Or the points wired up. So, that's the points wired in now. Now I see. Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, I don't know. Do we even have spark still? Do we have fuel? I assume we have fuel. Just check it for spark here very quickly. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of spark there. It's a very yellow spark though, which is concerning me a bit because it should be a blue one. small flame there. I'm going to try and put my hand over the over the uh, intake. Although if it was going to fire I probably should have fired there now. Uh, I'm disappointed. too much fuel now it's flooded oh I don't know guys have seen what I've done with this bike. You've seen me try and set the spark timing. You've seen me setting the calm timing. Uh, I'm just stumped. I don't know what is wrong. Stumped? I'm very annoyed. Just seems like it does not want to run no matter what you do. The fact that it's a very yellow spark is kind of concerning me though. It's kind of firing once and then stopping. Firing once and then stopping if you know what I mean. something hmm wonder would it be the air something I guess hmm. I might 
turn up the idle a little bit. See if that helps us. Hmm. It's giving us something. Something. We got fire anyway. It might be running great. God, I'll have to open the door here and smoke. <laughs> it's unreal. Um, we could be on the right track. I don't know. I reckon it's emptied the carburetor, so I'm gonna put on the fuel tank now and we'll see how we get on. Uh, but I was a bit happier with that performance than what I've been getting for the last week or so. I won't get too carried away just yet. Much can you see there anyway? Can you see me? Oh yeah. Well, probably could do with a better view, couldn't you? See what we can do for you. Um, well, I've zoomed it in as much as I can. Um, yeah, that might do. So let's give it another go now that put patter on and I'll take the choke off this time. Whoa, the patter pouring out of this thing. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I've done there. Did the pipe come off? Nope. Where's it leaking out? Here. Is it like the float needle wasn't there? Seating. And I took that float needle out the other night and fixed it up and stuff, so I don't understand that. Yes, it was leaking out of. I don't know, I've turned it off anyway, so it's it's done enough to fill the carb, so. It's probably flooded now. It's flooded. See, I took the choke off there because I thought it was flooded. I'll stick it on half choke, see what we get. Oh, did not like that at all.
Oh, I don't know. I'm getting close, but we're not there. Why is it not firing now? But it was firing. It seems to want to fire. It's just flooded, I don't know. Whew. I'm getting so tired kicking this. Uh. Exactly what I've been doing all along. It gets a bit, struggles to run, and then it'll rev out and it'll just stop. So I don't know what's going on. Better pull that in. I'll pull that idle down a bit anyway. And I might have a go at the air screw here and reset it from the start. You can see the smoke in the shed here. But at least they got something out of it tonight. They're still not running right, but at least it's giving me something. There's life in the old girl somewhere. Somewhere along the line. Yeah, so I'm just screwing the air screw the whole way in. And then I'm gonna take it out two and a half turns. So there's one, two, and a half. So I have two and a half turns out now. Let's see how we do. Well, oh, that didn't sound bad. Might just give it a little bit of a, I took the throttle eye off because I thought, It's still stopping, it's still doing what it was doing. It's revving out and then it's just boom, stop. I don't know why it's doing that. No. Don't know. 
just don't know. Yep, back to the same thing it was doing. Same thing it was doing weeks for weeks now. And I cannot figure it out. I'm just stumped, I don't know what it is. Now I have to fix this fuel leak, so I'll be which is in a little second. Might be running just perfectly, but it's running. Just a little bit on the throttle there. I'm a lot happier. It runs. It runs like shit, but it runs. Which is more than it was doing. It'll only run when I have the full the throttle screw turned in the full way and the air screw almost the full way. So I don't know what's going on. It may be the, the jets. Although when I looked in the carb, they looked to be original jets to me, so. I'm stumped at what it might be, but I'm a lot happier because I at least got something out of it, you know, obviously it's not perfect, but I may get my friend to look at it, admit defeat, <laughs> that's it there's Paddy, that's a friend of mine there, just doing a wee YouTube video here for, that's right. hey, fuck a lot, I come out to have a smoke and I see all boom, 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 <laughs> so, you've seen that it, was running sorry about uh, that uh, just we interruption there I was talking to Paddy my friend I got it to run I'm a very happy man tonight Um it's not running perfect I have to have the throttle idle screw turned in the full and the air screw turned in the full for it to take over but it will take over and it will rev out which is a big difference from what it was doing up until now so i'm hoping that my friend can look at this and he might be able to figure out what's wrong i didn't really want to have to go to somebody else for help because that's kind of the reason i bought it and wanted to to um get experience and get better but this is just something that's stumping me and i really can't find out what it was or why so i think by finding out what it was by from someone else, at least then I'll have the experience for the next time to know what's wrong and how to fix it. For that, I'm, I'm, it runs, I'm happy. So, I suppose it might be a while before you see it again, because um, I don't know how much time my friend has to look at it, but I'm going to leave it over with him. So, thanks for watching guys, and... Keep uh, keep your comments coming. I enjoy the comments, and I know that there's one another one of you there that has one of these bikes, and he's trying to do it up. And I have a seat here. You were you were on to me about a seat. Uh, it's in very bad condition. the The pan is horrible, just horrible. There's just there's nothing there. You know that's that's a totally separate piece. It's just rusted that badly. Um, but the foam itself. As you can see, there's no lumps lifted out of it or anything. It's quite good that way. Um, it's possible that something could be done underneath here. I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm considering maybe keeping it for myself. I don't know yet. Because I do intend to use this bike now. The fuel prices are up. And I don't want to destroy this good seat. I'm going to keep that seat for it. And maybe up and down. When I'm going up and down the road from work. I'll use this one. Um, I haven't made me up my mind on that. But... You know, I like to help people out as well, of course I do, but at the same time, I don't want to destroy my new seat, and the new seat's a bit of an age, so sitting on it too much is definitely going to crack the leather, or it's not even leather, it's vinyl plastic, so, and that's original, it's totally original, don't want to destroy something original, and somebody was asking me about the decals, Um. My friend makes labels for lorries and cars and that sort of thing. And I asked him, would he be able to make me a set? Because nobody nobody does sets for this bike because it's, it's a rare bike. And there'll be very few people buying them, so nobody makes them. But uh, he said he might be able to do it, so I'll keep you posted on that. Um, I definitely won't be stripping the paint unless he can actually have a set right here and show me that they're made. There's no other, no way I'd be stripping the paint otherwise. So that's it. Um, I got a few other bits for it. You know all about the backlight and this original mud yard up here. And um, I've got four side panels here, but two of them are pretty good. One of them has been repainted by somebody. I don't know who done that, but it's still all right. It's just that it's missing the labels. Um, I don't know what parts I'm going to need of, of these. So I can't sell any of them until I know what, what I need and what, what I'm going to use on the bike. Um, but I, it's possible I may be selling some of them whenever... Uh, I get down to painting it and stuff and I realise what I need. Um, but that's all for now. Um, thanks for watching guys.